Carolyn just found this ginormous box on the porch. So she's going to open it and see if the cats don't attack it first. Oh, Why yeah. did they put it all in one box? <laughs> it's our exciting Walmart order. Yay. You know how freaking heavy this was? I imagine. That's a 28-pound bag of food there. Yeah. Yay, Walmart.com. See, I didn't have to lug this to the store. Caitlin lugged it into the house for me. Yay, no wonder the cats were excited. That was super exciting. Woohoo. So I look like crud. Like, I look so tired. But I'm going to put some makeup on to remedy that situation. Hi. So this morning, I'm taking Mango to the vet to get spayed. She is not happy in the carrier. So you can probably hear her scratching and meowing in the background. We're almost there. Her appointment's at 7.45. I'm a couple minutes late because I couldn't find the darn carrier. But it's all good now. And the vet's office is literally right up here and to the left. So we're good. But, mm -hmm. So the vet's office called yesterday. We thought her appointment was in February. February 28th. Not... December 28th. Well, I didn't look at the date on the calendar. My husband and daughter came back and said, oh, Mango's got an appointment. They couldn't do it till February. I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't write it down yet because that's way far off in the distance, right? Yeah. If I'd looked at it, I probably would have realized it was on a weird day. But anyway, we're here. So I'm going to take her in, get her all checked in. Oh, I got her all checked in. She was not a happy camper, of course, but so she is going to have her surgery pretty soon. And then they're going to call us and let us know how she's doing. And then she'll have to stay the night. I'll check her, make sure she's good to come home. And if she's doing well, not chewing at things, then we'll be able to pick her up tomorrow. So yay. So tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be kind of busy because tomorrow is the family Christmas at my mother-in-law's house. Keep. Keep grabbing the wrong key. Both of our keys look exactly the same. Because <laughs> we have two pretty much identical cars. They're just different colors. So I'm already out and Dollar General is just down the road. And I think I may just wait for them to open because it's like 7.54 and they open at 8. So I think I may go and wait for them to open. And I'll take you with me and we can see what we can see because I think they have their Valentine stuff out. So we'll go check out what they have. I had a free coffee at McDonald's, so I decided to pick it up. Okay, now off to Dollar General. Once this one car goes by, because there's like literally nobody out here with this one car that's going really slowly. Or maybe it's just my perspective because I'm waiting on them. Okay, here we go. <laughs> McDonald's lady at the window, she was back in the little drink area and she came to the window and handed me my coffee. She goes, I saw that. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Weird. So I think Dollar General opens at 8, but I don't know for sure. So I'm going to go over here and park and see what their hours are. It might be 9. I think it's 8. Let's see. Yep. 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So we'll just sit here. I'm going to turn some heat on. It's not very warm in the car. I got my vanilla iced coffee. Mmm. I don't think it's mixed up very good though. Sometimes they don't mix it up very well. That's better. The lights in the store are not on. Oh, they just turned them on. <laughs> I think I'm going to be the only customer in there. It's going to be weird. But kind of cool. Like there's a Highland food truck right here. Apparently making a milk delivery and whatever else, butter, cheese, whatever they have. They do have like a frozen section and a refrigerated section in this store. But like I'll wait a few minutes. I don't want to be like, it's eight o'clock, open the door. <laughs> I'm not that desperate. I'm just kind of like, I'm out. I might as well do something. Yeah, I'm going to wait just like a couple of minutes before I go in. 
Yeah, the guy just opened the door. He's looking at me weird. <laughs> yeah, that was strange. Okay, the door's just open, so now I can go in. He looked at me, and I'm like, uh, hi. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to myself in the car. Okay, come along with me so I don't look like such a ding-dong. I found these really pretty Christmas ornaments. Well, they don't have a ton of stuff out on their shelves yet, but they do have a whole pile of boxes that they need to unpack and stock the shelves with. But they did have some cute pillows, as you can see, and a whole bunch of cool bath items. So many different scents. They had bath bombs, bath salts, bubble bath, those cute little cups that are already made up for a dollar. What a great little gifty that would be. They had all kinds of poofs and little gift sets and they're just so pretty and they had like I said a lot of different scents to choose from eye mask with gel inside that might be really good for someone for stress relief but these things don't buy them here you can get a three pack from Dollar Tree for a dollar so those are cool but I wouldn't recommend that because of the price they had some cute little decorative things I thought this little set of canvases was really cool. Be really pretty for a bedroom or a bathroom. They had little fabric bins that you could put somewhere that would be really pretty to leave out. Just all kinds of neat little thingies. Baskets, little decorations that you could just put around. Those boxes were really cute. I like to put nail polish and nail things in those candles and then the Christmas clearance happened I pretty much walked away from most everything over here because it was like yeah same old same old those were cute though I really like these little heart-shaped baskets I already have like a class set of them basically <laughs> but I got some to replace one that I'm using for a special gift and I can use them for some Valentine treats those are delicious. If you have not tried them, they're a cute little gift for a dollar. I like to get those for Caitlin for Valentine's. They had some stuffed animals out and see this, the shelves are going to be stocked. They have a little bit out, but you can see those boxes there. They're going to put a ton out. And they had some little things. They had a little bit of cards out, a little bit of decorations out. I have that heart wreath. They had some pretty flowers and mugs cups with unicorns on the top cool just little like things to stick on your desk or in a dresser these pens are cute i had to get one of those for caitlin look those are solar powered little thingies that move and then some little doodads to put around little tiny bagged up stuffed animals i like the coffee one that one looks cute And some candy, of course. But like I said, they don't have everything out yet because they just started. I mean, Christmas just happened. <laughs> so this is way early. We're like, what, a good six, seven weeks out from Valentine's Day. So they're, they're early to the game anyway. I like to get these little kind of things as something different. And I always like to get their little bags of candy for the little treats for the kids. This year I'm doing something a little different, so stay tuned for that. I thought these cups were really cute, and I think they're only like $5. So they had four different kinds right now. That one's a little holographic, like if you moved it, it changed the face of the dog a little bit. I thought the dog was cute. And yes, they did have a pineapple. And no, I did not buy it for myself because that would have been weird. Yeah, but somebody else could get it for me, hint, hint, husband. And that one was really cute. Be your own kind of beautiful. I thought that was really neat. All right. I'm headed home. I'm on my gravel right now. And I'll show you the stuff that I found. I didn't film a ton inside the store because, for one thing, it was a little awkward. I'm just going to be honest. It was a little bit awkward because I was the only customer. And the employee was kind of like, are you finding everything you need? And I'm like, yeah, thank you. Go away, please. <laughs> I just wanted to look around. And, like, when I was in the Valentine aisle, one of the employees came over and she started stocking the shelf. 
and she's like are you finding everything you need and I said yeah I'm just looking to see what you've got and she's like yeah we just got our stuff in I'm like yeah looks looks like you're gonna have some neat stuff and she's like yeah thanks I said yeah I guess I'll have to come back when you're finished and she says oh it'll be out by the end of the day and I'm like oh cool thanks <laughs> I mean awkward <laughs> awkward awkward so I was like huh. yeah but that's okay I will show you what I got when I get inside and I should probably pull the stuff out of the trunk I mean honestly I haven't done it because I didn't feel like it we're in the garage now so I will catch back up with you when I hop inside as you can see I'm inside and there's Pikachu Say hi Pikachu hi bud he's happy to see me so I thought I'd show you what I got so first thing is readers because because they're necessary because I can't see but apparently the ones I had fell out of my purse somewhere. I don't know. Weird. Now, like I said in the car, I didn't film everything because honestly, a lot of the stuff was the kind of stuff you would always find at Dollar General. It's like a miniature Walmart. Like they have food stuff. They have cat food, dog food. They have like a pharmacy section that has like, you know, basic over-the-counter drugs. They have like nail polish and basic makeup supplies. They have baby things. They have clothes. They have socks. They have books, crayons, party supplies. There's a refrigerated and freezer section in this one. I haven't seen that in all of them. Snacks, school supplies, storage things, kitchen items, basically little bits of everything. But what I wanted to show you was the Valentine stuff, which I did show you. And I will go back when they have more stuff out because they're supposed to have mini erasers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I checked it out online. They're supposed to have them. So they're probably in one of those boxes. So I'll have to check back later. Okay, so yeah. Kind of a necessity so I can see. All right, then I got, I forgot to check. These should have been half price. <laughs> I thought these were really pretty with the little snowflakes on them. For my school tree, because I don't have a lot of ornaments for that. I don't know what happened to them. I got the Da Vinci Code. I don't think we have this. I think I liked this movie and it was $4. So I think that's something we would watch. <laughs> I found Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas for $5. Do you know how hard it was for me to come across that last year when I wanted to watch it? That's a movie I remember from being a kid in the 80s. Yeah. I remember watching it with my family. That was like a classic. And Teresa from Chacha Cakes and I. Hmm. Emma Otter Jug Bang Christmas fans. I found it on Amazon last year, but I probably paid $15 for it there. So I was kind of annoyed <laughs> that I didn't even think about looking at Dollar General. But would you? Would you have thought to look at Dollar General for an obscure movie? Maybe not. So they have movies there too. Okay. Let's get to the interesting stuff. Well, maybe not so interesting. So I got this because I'm forever losing my sewing needles. And this was a dollar. So I got three sewing needles and some all variety of threads and a threader. So that'll be good. Because Caitlin's poor pajamas, her moose pajamas, they have the little flap in the back. She has somehow managed to like rip off all the buttons. She lost one last year and we found it. <laughs> and then she ripped another one off this year. I'm like, what do you do when you're sitting in your pajamas, child? I don't know crazy. I don't know what she does. I really don't. I'm like, don't scooch around on stuff, I guess. I don't know. So I thought that I could fix her pajamas and I don't have red thread, but there's red thread in here. So I thought that would be good. They had these in like the stocking stuffer area. I thought two nail files for a dollar. Yeah, please. So I got one for Caitlin, one for me and they're Valentine-y kind of looking. So like one's a mermaid scale. You see that? And one's a sparkly pink. I thought that'd be good for Valentine's. The pen that I showed you in the aisle that kept knocking over because it was in one of the little plastic holders. I thought Caitlin liked like this fun little pen. And I got some more of these baskets because one of them is going to be for a surprise. And one of them I could do for my husband's Valentine stuff and the pink one I do for Caitlin's Valentine stuff. They had these in the stocking stuffer aisle. Now I probably wouldn't recommend the glue. I've never tried the LA Colors glue. I was, I'm a Kiss Glue Girl fan. Kiss Glue fan girl. <laughs> I don't know. I like Kiss Glue better than all the other ones because I trust it. I know it works. But anyway, I thought these were cute nails for fun. And then they have these for a dollar. And you can find these kind of sets at Dollar Tree sometimes too. I have some purple ones that are kind of Halloween-ish that I actually just saw Cha-Cha Cakes have. I was going back and watching Vlogtober and yeah, I'm really behind, but she has some just like them. So these are, you know, the kind of a Christmassy or they could be spring. I mean, they kind of, they have a minty color. So really anything, but I thought they were cute with the chevrons and stuff. So I thought I'd try those. 
for a dollar. How can you go wrong, right? Okay, what else? Um, Christmas, like, ribbon stuff. Because I needed a way to attach the red box coupon codes to the popcorn sleeves, I guess you'd call them, for stocking stuffers. I wandered through the entire store because why not? I never do that. And then I got to see all the cool stuff they had. So I just happened to wander by when they had cups. These are $5 and they're insulated. They're no spill. The cats are having a good time over there. If you hear crinkling paper, it's because that shipment that we got is uh, exciting to them. Because <laughs> it had lots and lots of butcher paper as filler in the box. Hi, boo. Mitten says hi. Say hi, boo. Say hi, Mitten. She does not like it when I film. Anyway, it has a little flip top lid, but they had different ones. They had ones that said like dark roast, fair trade, espresso and stuff all over. I'm like, I almost got that one. It was cute. It was brown. Then I saw this one with all the different cups on it. And I thought, oh, those are cute. The mugs. I thought those are really cute. So, and it's green, which I like. So I thought I would get that one because I'm forever spilling my coffee. Okay, that's uh, that out of that bag. Okay, then I got random au gratin potatoes because they sounded good. <laughs> and I thought Caitlin would like them. Okay, here's a Valentine thing. I showed these, I think, but yum. These are good. Yummy, mom. I got them last year, too. They had these in the Christmas section. I love old-fashioned candies, and especially, like, the vanilla creams. Super yum. I got those. I'll have to look on my receipt and tell you if, any, if this stuff was half price. Got my receipt right here. It's for a dollar fifty. Yay! The half price goods. Okay, I got some six slits because seriously, twenty one. There's twenty one in here. Guess how many students I have? Twenty two. Yep. I will have to go back and get another package of them. Mm. Yeah, it's called. I didn't read how many were in a bag. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and then I got this because it looked cute. And I'm always looking for cute little things for Caitlin's Valentine stuff. Because she's not, <clears throat> excuse me, she doesn't want stuffed animals anymore because she's almost 18. Um, plus she has jillions, you know, lots and lots and lots. So we tend to get her more kind of more grown up Valentine stuff. Like we get her flowers and stuff like this that she'll actually like. So, and fun things that are useful. Alrighty. Now this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Oh yeah. But that's what I got. My bags are empty. And this is my haul here. <laughs> yep, that was the cats. Here's my haul. I don't think I did too badly. I got a whole bunch of nothing really. <laughs> just random hodgepodge stuff, but I've got some a few Valentine things and just some random stuff. So I just thought I'd show you. Now I'm just going to take my hat off and my boots off and probably put on my pajamas again and go snuggle under that heated blanket. Oh, I'm not kidding you. It's the best thing ever. It's like being wrapped in a hug. Hmm. So I'm going to go do that and I'll probably jump back in later and chat with you again. Ah, uh, the warmth of this blanket is amazing. Onyx is snuggling with me too. I'm not sure you can really see her. Yummy breakfast bowl. So Onyx totally wants my breakfast. <laughs> and she is pulling out all the stops. So she's tried to climb from that direction to get to it. She's tried to come from this direction to get to it. She's given me the begging feet, which if she'll do it again, I will film it. It's really cute when she does that. I don't think she's going to do it again, though. She's just going to sit there and look at me. She gets up on her hind legs, and she puts both feet together, and she paws them. And it's really super cute. But it's not going to work, because you already ate, you little stink pot. She said, but I'm so cute. Look at me. I'm so cute, and I'm starving. Look at me. I'm starving. How can you do this to me? Yeah, okay, sure. See Pikachu, the food's right by him. He doesn't care. He's like, I'm good. I'm just tired. Yep. 
Here are those old-fashioned vanilla creams. I thought I'd give them a taste. But I was disappointed. They just didn't taste as good as I remembered. So I'm still catching up with Teresa from Cha Cha Cakes because I watched all the Vlogmas videos. Now I'm going back in time more and watching Vlogtober, which I totally didn't even think about doing this year, which is probably good because I don't think I could have done it. I think I would have flipped out because <laughs> October was a little cray cray, especially since it was first quarter of my first year in second grade. So I really don't think it probably would have worked out well for me, but I think I'll jump back in next year for sure. Okay, she has the best craft room ever. So if you have not watched Teresa from Cha Cha Cakes, you really should jump on her channel. She's really got something for everyone. She's got teaching stuff, she's got nail stuff, she has some makeup stuff. She has reviews of some products. She has lots of Dollar Tree hauls, lots of awesome crafting. She's got cooking and doing dinner episodes. Her husband is a phenomenal cook and he loves to do it. And her kids are awesome. They're teenagers. One is the same age as my daughter. So we have that in common. And she's just fun. So if you haven't checked her out, you really should. I mean, seriously, you should. What are you waiting for? Hey, I'm just laying here watching TV and the vet's office just called and said that Mango's out of surgery and she did really well. We're supposed to call tomorrow morning to see how she's doing and see if she can come home. Hey. Look at this silly cat. <laughs> she looks like roadkill. That's our roadkill kitty mittens. And apparently the other two think it's bath time. You see a whole bunch of pink tongues. Yep. Sleeping or bathing. Apparently that's what it's time for. <laughs> the weirdest thing just happened. So I got some deliveries from Amazon. That is not the weird part. <laughs> we get deliveries from Amazon quite often. The weird part is this package is something I didn't order. It's not in my order history. It's not something I would have ordered. It's got my name and address on it. I even put in the order number. It wouldn't come up. Weird. So now I'm contacting Amazon via chat to see what is what. So wish me luck. Okay, here's my little chat window. So I put that I just received an order in the mail that I did not place. Can you tell me where it came from? I checked my order history and my credit card statement to be sure that I wasn't hacked. I didn't find any charges related to this item. I've got this person, um, Niraj, that apparently is online and is here to help me. So I've said hello. Hopefully he can help me resolve this situation. Okay, Naraj has asked me to send a picture of the shipping slip on the package. And I'm assuming he meant this, like the order slip. But I went ahead and took a picture of the shipping label and the slip that was in the package. He's like, did you send it? <laughs> Are you sharing it now? And I went, yeah, like, you got to give a person time to take the picture and, like, put it on there. So, yeah, I got it on there as soon as humanly possible. So he's like, okay, thanks. This whole deal is just very weird. The weird thing is this item is a very specific thing that you have to have another item to use. So it's, it's a charging cable for like an Alexa equipped Fire HD tablet, like an Amazon Fire HD tablet with Alexa technology in it. Special charging cable for that. Like, I, I don't know what happened, but this is not ours. And like I checked my credit card statement. There's nothing on there. I checked my order first. I'm like, did I somehow weirdly order something this, that I didn't mean to order? No, it's not in my orders anywhere. And it was ordered Christmas Eve. Very, very strange. So like at first I thought, oh, maybe somebody ordered it as a gift for us. But then if you did that, you wouldn't want the price to be on here. But then again... Someone would need to know if you actually had one of those devices before they sent you a charging cable for it, which we don't have. So I don't, this whole thing is very strange. I think, here's my thought. I think probably everybody and their brother was on Amazon getting last minute stuff and there was a glitch or something. That was my thought. So nothing from Naraj yet. Just waiting on him to do his magic, make it happen. Apparently, I wasn't charged for this thing, but I don't want it or need it, and it's not mine. Like, if somebody legitimately ordered this and it went to me, they need it back. So, let's get that figured out. I just noticed up in the corner there, 
that's where our uh, smoke detector should be plugged in. <laughs> it was beeping and being really crazy. And so my husband took it down and he said, put it back up there. Yeah, because you need, per fire code, you need so many smoke detectors per square feet of house. And uh, yeah, that's the one that goes to this big family room. And we kind of need that down here. So I don't know if we just needed to get a new... And we get a new smoke detector. Okay, I was laughing because I got a response from Naraj from wherever he's coming from. Okay, thanks. I would suggest you can keep, donate, or dispose the product. I am not finding any information related to that order. Hmm. So I don't know. I can't tell. I don't think this is going to fit anything that we have. So hmm, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to reply to him and then I'll keep you posted. Okay, thank you. It's just very strange that this random order came today with other orders that I did place. I tried to look up the order and it didn't come up either and neither did the product with the item number. Thank you for your help. Have a happy new year. <laughs> because I don't know what else to say. Welcome and same to you. <laughs> awesome. Have a great day, Naraj. That was the strangest thing. So Naraj was very helpful. I gave him a good rating on the feedback. But I got this weird thing. I guess maybe I'll ask tomorrow. Sorry about the glare. Let's take them off. I guess I'll ask people at the family gathering tomorrow if anybody has need of a charging cable. I don't know. Caitlin has a Kindle Fire, but I think her Kindle Fire died. Like, I think it got stepped on. So, can't charge a dead thing. And I really don't think this will work for anything that we have because we have Apple products. So, weird. I would have been happy to send it back to them because they this was like an $8 thing, which... Probably to them is a drop in the bucket because they make billions of dollars. But still, I feel weird keeping it, you know? So, it's odd. Very, very odd. So, I guess I'll try to find somebody. Maybe somebody gave one to their kid for Christmas. I can ask my teacher peeps at school. If anybody has needed one, I could send it to them. Uh, we have inter-office mail where there's a guy that actually, like, delivers mail between the buildings. So, he could give it to them. I don't know. That's all I can think of to do because I certainly don't need it. Merry Christmas.